everybody, this is Realtor Bobby T and I am here today with my new staging consults, AKA Danielle from DNA Designs. Hi everyone. So today we're gonna to talk a little bit about preparing your home for market. Danielle has three tips for us on how to make your home market ready. Take it away, Danielle. Thanks, Bobby. So first things first, I recommend that you look to your exterior and your landscaping. Obviously it's a first impression and people generally scope out a property before even scheduling a showing. So cleaning up the yard, raking, and even having some nice porch decor helps. It just helps convey that you take care of your stuff and it'll help get them buyers in the door. Secondly, I recommend that you tidy and organize. Although this may seem like a silly point to um, point out, it is very important because people walk into a space and if they see a cluttered uh, home with a lot of personal items, they have difficulty pers or picturing themselves living in it. Mm -hmm. So it's important to declutter that linen closet, remove those knickknacks from the junk drawer, even to stage and decorate your spare bedroom that may be a catch-all space for last year's home decor. It allows people to just see the space instead of all the furniture and junk. fixtures and junk in it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So what you may love and see as such a beautiful little figurine in the corner, I say, I say we remove it and just let the walls and space do the talk, talking. Yeah. Very good points, for sure. And thirdly, I suggest that you take color down a notch. Although you might like that bright green bedroom, it may deter buyers. I suggest to pick a nice neutral color throughout the home, a nice cohesive palette, something like a nice light gray, light brown, cream, or white. I typically say lighter is brighter because it lets the natural light shine through the space and makes the space ultimately feel larger. So picking a nice neutral color and will definitely appeal to a wider range of buyers. All good points. So I think to wrap it up, why don't we just talk about some of the design flaws that you often find in homes? So, and I don't want to bash anyone's <laughs> home decor. It's we all do it. <laughs> it's preference, but when you're prepping your home to sell, it is important to make it appeal to the masses. Mm -hmm. So generally, I feel like people make the biggest mistakes is too much furniture or too big of furniture in a room. So those big bulky couches or um, recliner chairs, they sometimes need to go in order to, for the space to breathe and for it to look bigger and so that people can ultimately picture their furniture in that living space. So I would say that is generally one of the biggest design flaws is just too much furniture or too big of furniture. Awesome, those are all great recommendations, Danielle. Um, if you are preparing to sell your home, I do offer a complimentary in-home consult with Danielle. She'll walk through your space and help to provide feedback that will enhance your sale. Thanks so much, Bobby. I look forward to working with you and your prospective sellers. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. This is Danielle from DNA Designs, and we look forward to working with you. Bye.